Huge thanks to Bantha Skull, Jedi Temple Archives, Bosk's Bounty, and the Imperial Shipyards for promoting my last video. And if you haven't yet backed the Vintage Collection, sign the petition below and let Hasbro know that you want your TVC. <music> Greetings, Imperial citizens. I'm Anthony. Thank you for choosing to watch, and thank you for your overwhelming feedback on my last video. You've given me my mandate. I've yet to focus on a 3 and 3 quarter inch vehicle, so today I'm doing the history of my all-time favorite Imperial fighter. The TIE Interceptor, and how we got from this to this. The TIE Interceptor first screamed across our screens in 1983's Return of the Jedi. I love the streamlined design and the additional firepower for laser cannons. The excellent toy landed in 1984. It reuses the same cockpit from all previous TIEs, but cast in a new color. The new Interceptor-specific solar panels came with stickers that you apply, the same as all vintage TIE Fighters. And the cockpit has an opening hatch and a raisable seat for your TIE Fighter pilot. It also comes with Kenner's battery-operated sound effects and light. Okay, so the sound effects failed on mine. I never had one as a child. I acquired this one in the mid-90s from the now-closed Frackville Mall near my hometown in Pennsylvania. It took six years after the relaunch of the Star Wars line in 1995 for Hasbro to give us an update in the 2001 Power of the Jedi Toys R Us exclusive version. The update was modest. I mean, it's already a pretty great ship. The biggest improvement was the stickers being replaced by molded detail. The electronics were dropped, with the battery cover now molded to the now superfluous battery compartment, and the light is now molded in plastic. Because of the reduced weight, after dropping the electronics, a counterbalance was added to the backs of the solar panels and remain on all following releases. The rising seat is now fixed with a new sticker and hatch covers were slightly modified. Cast in a different color and with paint applications, it's basically the same ship from 1984. This version also came with a Power of the Force 2 style pilot and retained. It would be six years before we got our next update. 2007's 30th Anniversary Collection Elite Interceptor. Another Toys R Us exclusive, this is based off of Expanded Universe stories revolving around the 181st Imperial Fighter Squadron. This version received a newer modified cockpit. Between 2001 and 2007, the now useless battery compartment was dropped, and the mold updated with a more screen accurate twin ion engine, or TIE. The front laser light was also dropped, and the hatch became a one-piece. The interior of the cockpit remained the same. Cast in a wider gray color, the Elite TIE sports red stripes along the solar panels and kill markers on the cockpit. It also comes with a unique Elite TIE pilot. And what came next was perfection. In 2009, as part of the Legacy Collection, Toys R Us once again got the latest TIE Interceptor release. This time with an all new, completely resculpted, super sleek tie cockpit. With a seamless hatch that pivots from the back, excellent interior detailing with the yoke or joystick, foot pedals, movie accurate applied stickers, and a removable ejection seat. Cast in a light bluish color, this also came with the latest super articulated tie pilot. But probably my favorite detail is the extendable laser cannons. And of course, the update retains How can it not? This is truly a beautifully rendered toy. Five years later, the Interceptor exclusivity moved from Toys R Us to Amazon under the Vintage Collection. This version is a straight repaint, now cast in gray and dropping the pack-in TIE Pilot. Still, every bit is excellent. For my official fleet, I have four Legacy versions four vintage collection versions with the Elite TIE as the wing leader, with a slight substitution. But overall, what truly amazes me, aside from the molding detail replacing the stickers, is that these solar panels are the same exact mold from 1984 and held up just as well 36 years later. 
That's all for this communique. Thank you for your support. And thanks to uh, Greg and Grace for the usual contributions. And now it's time for you to do your part for the empire. Like, subscribe, share, and await for the next transmission.